Okay, hey guys, I'm back again working on uh, my bass altar. Um, I normally don't show my altars, um, but right now my bass altar is in transition for um, Beltane's Day. And I know these are normally like traditional Beltane's colors, but these are, at least for me, traditional elements to work with the uh, cheetah or leopard print, or depending on the type of panther, panther print, um, the red, the gold, these are all traditional colors for bass. Um, as well as, sorry, I'm trying to fix this. As well as, um, uh, in some aspects of her room, and, and these are the colors I want to work with her for Beltane's Day. One of the things that most people don't know that between her and um, her room and one other, and I'm not too sure the others, so I'm not really going to say the names. But I know definitely these those two. Um, they does a lot with the sexual arts, how to heal with the sexual energy through the. Uh, through the chi, which is actually raised up through, um, one of the ways of raising it is through um, the sacral chakra, which deals with your sexual energy. And so, you know, the cheetah print, the gold, the red, that's one of the reasons why they were purposely, through the ages, uh, became cheap, became known as the whore, became known as sweaty objects. Um, they did this purposely because these were the main prints, the main cup, the cheetah, the cheetah animal skin, the color red, were very, very um, important to the people of those temples, and this is what they wore majority of the time to set this stuff apart so you knew exactly that they healed through the sexual arts. Um, just want to put that out there. So, you know, so with that being said, you know, that, that that's the reason why I chose this cloth and not something more of a rainbow color or pink or anything. And especially because it's bad, she's still fire, she's still sun, and anyway. But anyway, this also is a work in progress right now because I'm changing it, like I said, for the day. So I don't mind showing uh, showing it, but once it's done, I won't be showing it because I really don't show um, my office to any office such as I really don't believe in it. But for right now, it's fine. Um, I did a video already for this. Oh, my goodness. I did a video already for this. And let me see if I can move this light so y'all can see better what show yes okay that's perfect um i did a video already for this on how to clean your stones um with a pendulum and i forgot to press record <laughs> so i did the whole video clean the stone and i forgot to press record so the problem with that is is that the stone's already clean and i wanted to use smoky quartz to because smoky quartz is one of the stones that will show on camera when it's clean and when it's not clean and right now I'm just trying to look through my stones to see, because all of them are pretty much cleaned already, and the energy and the balance. And I'm just trying to look through my stones um, to see which one is still kind of smoky, kind of sorta. I might. This is the stone I used in the video, and I said in the video it didn't come fully clean, so I might use this stone again to see if we get a little bit lighter. It said the energy and it was balanced, but the color didn't. It lightened up, but it didn't get crystal clear. Like when I did this one, this one came out crystal clear. This one was a little bit darker. Well, actually, a lot darker than this one is now. See that? This one came out crystal clear. So, I'm trying to see which one is kind of dark on camera so you can see the difference once it's done. I guess that's where you can see a little bit on my finger to make sure it's not just me. And you can see it's a tad bit foggy, but not a lot because this one was clean like a day ago. I can try this one. Um, but I don't know if it's, that it's going to let me work on it again because I did this one for the last video. So, what's the pen I'll just exit so I can give it another cleaning for the video purpose. Can I please you again for the purpose of this video? It's saying no because energies are already balanced in it. So, no. It's not going to let me work with it. What about you? Can I work with you for this video? Yeah, so this one's saying yes, so it's going to let me work with it for this video. Um, let me move these other stones out of the way. So this is going to be our tester. This one is crystal clear, as you can see. No matter which hand I hold it in, this one's crystal clear. And this one is not exactly crystal clear. It's a little bit fog. Get in the light. Where's the light? It's a little bit foggy compared to the other one, no matter which one I hold it in. So um, the one, my th one thing you want to understand when working with a... Uh, I hope this is recording because I can't do this again, and I did press record this time. But the one thing you want to understand with uh, working with 
Matter of fact, I'm going to stop this recording and make sure it's recording and then I'm going to press record again. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure this is recording because this is the absolutely last time I could do this video for probably a couple of months. <laughs> um, so, the one thing you got to understand is working with pendulum is really working, is using the higher energies, but it's using the higher energies through you. So when you're cleansing, um, you have to understand that the energy is working through you, through your hand chakra, and come from your crown chakra, throughout through your hand chakra. So with that being said, once you start the cleaning, you do not stop it until the um, pendulum is finished. Um, not with this particular pendulum, with another pendulum, I did a chakra cleaning, and that pendulum swung literally for a half hour. My arm was so sore, but I couldn't stop it because... Not only are you clogging your energy from being fully done, now you also are the medium for which the energies are being cleaned, so now you're blocking it within yourself. Um, also, with, with cleaning the other stone, um, with cleaning the other stone, where is it? This stone, on the original video I did, what I noticed is that the energy was attracted to my throat chakra, because my throat chakra does have blockages, because um, lately I've just been, um, when I say lately, I say the past maybe two years or so, I have not been, um, actually it's been longer than two years, I have not been um, like out in the public eye with what I do at all. I kept it home, I kept it private, if someone came over, I took all my altars down for they, if I knew they was coming over, if they was coming over real quick, I grabbed what I could off the altar so they wouldn't know it was the altar. Um, but lately I've just been more outward went and just don't really care but some of the blockages are still there what's still there hopefully it's clear I don't know when I do this because the negativity in that will attract to anything that's blocked in you and what I did notice I did a, um, a quick mantra in that video um, that I'm not really going to say here now because obviously it wasn't meant to get out but I did a quick mantra in that video and after doing that quick mantra um, what I did notice is that I burped, and when I burped, that whole throat chakra just released all that energy, and it felt so clear, and I lightened up so much, it was so beautiful. Um, excuse me, I have my phone next to me, and I don't want to be interrupted while I'm doing this, so I'm going to put my phone on silent, just for a second, so this video is over. Because I can't, once it starts, like I said, you're not going to stop this. Um, everybody's energy is different, but with my energy, I actually feel it going through my crown kind of chakra and out my hand, and going back the other way while the cleansing is start while the cleansing is being done. You do not like I, like I said again, this is not really something to play with. I mean it's cool and everything. You can do it but it's not really something to play with. If your stone needs a lot of cleansing, you need the time to sit there and keep going until it is done. Otherwise you're messing with your energies when you're doing it and you're also messing with the energy of the stone and the stones also um have a life of their own. As you see the other stone said no it doesn't want to be worked on this stone said yes. So, you know, you have to respect the stones because they'll leave you. They will. I've already had um, my Nirvana quartz. I had a beautiful Nirvana quartz. It was small, but it was beautiful, and that sucker disappeared on me. Um, so now I do have a bigger, bigger Nirvana quartz to replace that. But anyway, so let's start the cleaning, and I'm going to try to be quiet. Okay, so this one actually has some negativity to be removed as well as balancing. When it's going counterclockwise, it's removing stuff, and when it's going clockwise, it's opening and balancing. So this one's actually probably a better stone to do it on. It's probably why I didn't. Um, I, spiritually, I forgot to record consciously, and spiritually, I wasn't meant to record it. So we're going to let it do what it do and clean. Hopefully, this is not another one that's going to take a half hour to clean. My arm is going to be sore. I should have probably did this closer to the light so y'all could actually see if it's lighting up as I'm doing it. Now, the energies are not balanced when it's done removing all the negativity energy. What it will do is it'll go, it'll stop and it'll go in the other direction to balance the energies. So we'll see once this one is done. And this is, I can feel it coming out. Well, oh, you can't see my head, so hand gestures don't matter. But I can feel it coming out my, um, going in my hand and coming out my crown chakra. 
and it's still removing, it's not balancing or putting anything in yet. And as you see, even though it looks like my hand moving, that's actually the energy pulling. A lot of times in um, videos we see pendulum work, their hand, people, they, while they're thinking their hand is staying still, they are keeping their hand still. But the energy will pull their hand because, the, like I said, the energy is flowing through their body. So, yes, when you watch a lot of times, you are seeing the hand moving, but it's not them doing it. It is the energy moving within them doing it. All right, let's see if this one needs to be balanced because it's like it's almost done. Clearing the negative energy, I feel my head lightening up, so. Okay, yes, this one needs to be um, balanced now. As you see, we're in the other direction to pull the negative energy out, and now it's going to circle in a clockwise direction to balance the energies within it. And then whichever direction that your pendulum swings for yes, when it's fully done, your pendulum will swing in that yes motion. But when you see that pendulum slowing down, wait. Especially if it's going in a counterclockwise direction, wait because it has to slow down to go into a, a circle in the other direction. So just wait until it gives you a clear yes that it's finished doing what it's doing. And now I can feel the um, energy is being pulled in and coming out my hand. Um, into the stone. You also want to have a clear mind as much as possible because you want your subconscious to be able to work which um, I'm doing as much as possible, but I'm trying to explain as it's being done. So I may have to do it again when, um, um, when I'm done this to get it fully, fully clear where I can fully concentrate. But it looks like it's doing a really good job now. And you could do this on any stone with the pencil. I'm, I'm just using the smoky quartz because, like I said before, that's one stone that I know the difference will show up on camera. There are other ways, many ways, there are many ways to clean a stone. I'm not really sure if there's even a wrong way to clean a stone because I've seen so many ways to clean stones and they all have worked. This is just another way. And since I do a lot of pendulum work, a lot of work with pendulums, I thought I'd show you this way too. And yes, it's opening up, it's bouncing the energy. You see the circles getting wider around it. I feel it die down in my hand, so it's probably going to swing up some. Yeah, see, it's no longer going in a circle. It's swinging back and forth, which is my sign for yes with the pendulum. And as you see, it's giving me a, a clear yes that it is done. It's not even trying to go into another circle. So let's see. Compared to before, is it clear? Uh, I'll say so. I can't say how clear. I don't know. To me, that looks a lot better. That looks almost. Oh, snap. That looks almost exactly. Where's the other one? They look almost exactly alike now. If I can get them in the same lighting in the camera. Yeah, they look pretty much exactly alike now. Let's switch them around so you can really see. Yes. 
I don't know if the camera's picking up the difference, but I could definitely see this difference. This one is now, it was a little bit foggy, but now it's like totally see-through. I was looking at it through the camera at first, but now I'm looking at it with my eyes. This is totally see-through. I'm trying to find the best light to show you that it's like totally crystal clear now, like this one. There it go. See, to show you that it does work. Not only can you clean them, you can balance energies with them. So this is something you can do. Um, this is actually something great that you could do if you're a teen living in your parents' home or you're just, you know, living in somebody else's home and they don't want you burning sage or burning candles. They don't, um, you know, they don't, they don't really understand your crafts and living with them. Um, when you have some time alone without having to burn incense or sage or burning a candle or anything like that. If you're in a dorm room where you're not supposed to burn anything. Um, this is one way to, and you have your stones, this is one way to uh, clean your stones. And then afterwards, you just pray over them and consecrate them to whatever you want them to do. Or just do a general prayer for them to bless them and then put them away until you have a purpose for them. So, yeah, this stone actually did work out better than the other stones. This one came crystal clear, while the other one still just a tad bit foggy in certain areas. Hmm. Well, looky there. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's my video. Peace.